Hey YouTube family, so I'm back with another one. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make one pot chicken and rice. Guys, this dish is gonna be flavorful and it's gonna be time consuming. If you come in on a late evening and you don't have much time to prepare a meal for yourself and your family. So let's get started with the ingredients that we're gonna be using so that you can make this dish. Okay, so I'm started off with uh, some chicken thighs. I'm only going to be using four for this dish, but you can use anywhere between four and six pieces for this meal. These pieces have already been cleaned and trimmed. And here I have some jasmine rice that are already cleaned. I'm just letting the excess water drip off if there's any. I have some olive oil, some roasted chicken bouillon, some chicken broth that are already poured into the measuring cup and for that you're going to be needing four cups of that and also in the description I'll be listing the, uh, the ingredients and the amounts and here I have a spice blend that I'm going to be using for the chicken and some of the uh, bell peppers and onion mix. Here I have two teaspoons of black pepper, one teaspoon and a half of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon and a half of so here guys I have one and a half tablespoon of garlic powder one tablespoon of onion powder two teaspoons of black pepper two teaspoons of turmeric here I have one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning and here I have one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning. So I'm going to mix this up and let it become all one so that I can add it to my chicken. All right, that looks like it's blended perfectly. And guys, depending on your liking of any of these seasonings, you can always add less if any one of them is too much for you and your family. So there, there we have it. There's a spice blend that we just made. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to these chicken pieces, or well, the chicken thighs, just a little, not much. Just wanna get them evenly coated. Oh guys, I'm so sorry. I didn't even run down <laughs> the vegetables. So here I have a tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley, one half of a white onion chopped, a half of a red bell pepper chopped, one half of a green pepper chopped. I have six cloves of garlic that I chopped. So that's all you're gonna need. So now let's get to where we left off. Okay, so I have the olive oil on these chicken thighs. I'm just gonna give it a slight mix just to get it all over it. Make sure that it's there on every piece. Okay, now you're gonna add our spice blend. But guys, with the spice blend, you wanna save at least a teaspoon of this so that you can add it to your vegetables when it's time to start cooking them. Okay. My 
add a little more. Okay, so this will be the remainder. I'm not going to use all of this, but some of this I will be using to add to our vegetables once we start to saute them. Just want to make sure that the skin is well seasoned also, not just the meat part. Okay, you can see the seasoning is all the way through the chicken. So I'm going to place my skin back over it. Okay. And guys, if you want, you can do this ahead of time to let your chicken marinate to assure that it's flavorful. But trust me, this blend will definitely have your chicken pieces flavorful. And when it's time to cook, everything will be all right. <laughs> okay, so there we have it, our thigh pieces. Okay, so let's start making this dish. So I'm going to head over to the stove and start to saute these vegetables. And we'll get right to it. Okay, guys, so you want to make sure that your pan is getting warm just drizzle a tiny bit of uh olive oil or whichever oil you prefer okay guys so we are going to start by searing off these chicken pieces and then we'll saute our vegetables in the same pan so that we can have so that we can get more flavor in this entire dish so let's head to the stove. Okay guys, so I have my pan already preheated with a little bit of olive oil in it so we can sear off these chicken thighs. And then after that in the same pot, we're gonna saute the vegetables to keep that flavor going. Okay, here are the chicken pieces, well seasoned. Now I'm gonna lay them skin side down for about six minutes on each side. Okay, here's the fourth one. All right, so we're gonna let those go for about six minutes. Okay, so the six minutes has passed. Let's see what these pieces are looking like. Oh, that's perfect. Now we're gonna do six minutes on this side as well. So we got that nice color. That's what you want. Okay, so we're gonna let these go for another six minutes. Then we'll follow through with sauteing our vegetables. Okay, so the second side should be done. Let's see what it looks like on that side. Here we go, we've got a perfect sear on that one. I'm gonna take that out. Only six to seven minutes on each side because remember this is gonna continue cooking with the rice. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Now we are going to be adding the vegetables. Wow, that smells so good already. You just want to saute these until everything becomes fragrant. 
You don't want to cook them down too much to where they become translucent. And it's going to have tons of flavor because we have the bits from searing off that chicken in there and a little bit of uh, chicken juice. In total time, you guys, you want to do this for at least anywhere from like maybe three to five minutes just to start bringing those flavors out so that when it cooks down in the rice, it'll taste even better. So now what you want to do is add some of that season, about a teaspoon. Well, a half a teaspoon, you don't need that much because you're gonna get a lot of flavor from the chicken itself because that was already seasoned. So I'm gonna mix that in. This meal should take anywhere from about 25 to 35 minutes, guys. It shouldn't take that long. Because the rest of the cooking time after you finish doing this is going to be based on the rice. Whichever time is recommended for cooking your rice. So now I'm going to go in with that roasted chicken bouillon. One teaspoon. You gotta mix that in. The smell of onions and bell peppers and garlic. Oh man, can't ever go wrong. All right, so this is what you wanna have going on right now as far as the uh, to look for the vegetables. You got all of your seasonings and the vegetables are cooked the way that they should be. So now we're gonna go in with our washed rice and let that toast up a little bit. Make sure you get it all mixed up with the vegetables all the way through. about right to me I let this toast up from anywhere to like maybe two minutes you don't want to toast it too much just keep moving it around Let that go for like one more minute. Mix it and let it go for another minute. And then we'll add the broth and the chicken. So right now I'm gonna add just a little bit of our parsley and the rest will be for garnish once this meal is completed. You can also use dry parsley too. If you don't have the fresh one, that's totally fine. This smells amazing. Wow. Okay, make sure the bottom is good. All right, guys, let's add that chicken broth. You can use broth or stock, guys. It really doesn't matter. Give that a little mix. 
That is just beautiful. <laughs> See that? You guys gotta give this recipe a try. Okay, so that looks like it's mixed perfectly. I'm gonna go back in with our chicken pieces and let it steam the rest of the way so it can finish cooking. Okay, now we're just gonna let this steam out. I'm gonna let this cook anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. And I'll be back when it's all completed and time to fluff the rice. And don't forget to turn your flame down to low so this can cook. And guys, I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes. Whoa, look what we have here. Let me give you guys a close up. You see how perfectly this rice has been cooked? Let's give it a little fluff. Nice and loose. All the way through. And that's exactly what you want. So I'm gonna mix these vegetables through. And this one pot chicken dish is actually done. Making a little mess here, but that's all right. Wow, this looks amazing. Gonna give this rice a try. Very hot, but super flavorful. Wow, that is amazing. Whoa. You guys should definitely give this recipe a try. So with that being said, that's the end of this video, guys. And I hope that you like this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel so you can continue to get more videos like this and learn how to make, you know, different recipes. So for now, guys, that is it for this video, and I will see you in the next Thanks for watching.